And this is where I like to start my Saturday morning. In the kitchen, maybe you're getting ready to make breakfast. Maybe you're planning an entire feast for the whole family, but you can't open that can, you can't open that jar. Well, we're gonna help you out. My name is Sarah, we're live in Studio D, and we have the Smart Touch automatic can opener back for the first time in almost, gosh, so I think it's been since October, so it's been about six months. Here it is, so easy to open your cans, your bottles, your jars, and today we have a customer event prize that's 30% off, $16.95. We're gonna take care of the shipping and handling. We're gonna give you those flexible payments because this is the last thing you should be worried about. Carrie Mulatto, come on out here. Uh, she's our go-to kitchen gadget gal. Because I'll tell you, if I go through the trouble to get the ingredients, to look up a recipe, mm -hmm. if I'm actually going to cook, the, la the last problem I should ever have in the kitchen is opening that darn jar. Opening those kids. Well, you know, and, and the funny part is there's different times of the year, times of the year where maybe we have a little weather problems, right? So have you been working with one of these? Maybe you have. These have to be plugged in, right? And or if you have the regular old can opener, you goes those dexterity issues when you have to turn, turn, turn mm -hmm. to get all the way around. Let me show you how the Smart Touch works and why it's called the Smart Touch. Basically, you set it on top of your can. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But when you press with just one finger, it grabs a hold and it starts doing the job for me. Please notice my hands are now free to continue shopping and prepping and doing all the things I need to do in the kitchen. I don't need to babysit these cans. So if you're opening, say, four or five different cans for a stew or a sauce or something like this, I can let them do the job for me. I come back over when it's done. I hit the release button and the top magnetizes right to the can opener. So this one's almost done. I can do all different size cans that I need to do. But what I love is when it magnetizes the top and I walk over to my, to my trash can, I literally will just come, do this, mm -hmm. drop it, and I never had to touch that lid. Oh, so yeah, that part that's I the like, worst, right? Is right? trying to like grab, peel, tear. Not a great idea when you're working with shards of metal. Uh, let me go through the colors sure. quickly because I know a lot of you want a robot that opens your jars and cans <laughs> for you. Who wouldn't? We've got four colors to choose from. We have a black, which you see here. We've got a great red. This one we're calling light teal. It's sort of a beautiful turquoise blue. That'll be easy to find in the drawer. Mm -hmm. We also have a plum color, Plum's which right I'll show you right mm -hmm. here. Here's that plum color which is like a Isn't that beautiful yeah a nice little like uh, purpley plum so choose your color we've been waiting about six months to get these back into stock you can take advantage of those flexible payments we also have extra flex pays during our customer appreciation month on your hsn credit card uh, so you can take it out even further if you wish and you know, what's different about this also is so here's the lid i just took off a moment ago normally when we open our cans we are used to this effect the lid is going down into the food you'll see like the liquid or whatever go over top of it i want you to think for a second about where this can has been. Once it's been packed, okay, even the place the warehouse is being packed at, let's not, it, it's not necessarily the cleanest place in the world, and then it goes onto a truck, and then it goes into another warehouse, and then it's in the back. What's back there? Little creepy crawly critters, okay? Mm -hmm. So like a lot of times we go, we wash these first before we open, because we know that that's gonna happen, that's gonna go into our food. That's not gonna happen with the Smart Touch. It's gonna open around the sides. What's also gonna hap not gonna happen is those sharp edges. I can run my finger all the way around this and not cut my finger because there are no sharp edges anymore. This can go into your trash can and it's not gonna put holes and wreak havoc on your trash bags, which always was a problem for me before having this. You'd go to lift that trash bag out to take it out and it's just mm -hmm. water and garbage everywhere. So with it's this, true. And no you know, sharp edges. What happens to me is that I have two very hungry dogs. Uh -huh. At least they always act hungry. And the first thing they want to do is sniff in the garbage can anytime I happen to leave it, you know, sure. accessible. And they start licking the lids of a can. Oh, oh that's and it's so sharp. sharp. Yeah, it's exactly. so dangerous. So, by the way, it also opens your bottles. Yes. It's going to open your jars. It's going to open your can. So it really is like a three-in-one. Uh, and it's super easy to clean that removable part. So it is dishwasher safe. I would hate for you to miss out on these, knowing that they're, what, I guess it only comes around once every six months. So we got yeah. we got to get a a better way. So oh, what's grab, this? Right. So, then, so the hook on the side here the, is to do your pull tab. So those are the times we don't want to get underneath because we're going to mess up our nails and we get, every time I can break my nails easily trying to lift these up. So being able to do that right there with the pull tab is really important. Also, you were mentioning, uh, yes, the bottles. So this side here is your bottle opener. It's already attached to the Smart Touch. So when you're having parties and you're tailgating, you can just use this to do it. And I always lose my bottle openers because they're so tiny and it's mm -hmm. hard to get that kind of 
right uh, uh, angle to really, and I'll always slip around. Right. So with this, I love that this is ergonomic. It fits in your hand nicely, and it also fits in your drawer. So this is something that's not taking up cabinet space like this guy over here. Right, and who, a counter space is at a premium. Exactly. I mean, I've got a blender, I've got a coffee maker, you know, gosh knows what else you have on your yeah. countertop. Uh, and those, unfortunately, they do draw electricity consistently. How do you charge this or how does so it work? So this runs on two AA batteries. So what's great about this is if you want to travel with this this summer and take it in your RV, your boat, if you have a college student that wants to take it to college, this is great because they don't have to plug it in or worry about any of that. It works anywhere. And this is the one feature I really wanted to show you. All you would do is turn this to the off position. So this is your off and on button right here. And then your entire cutting mechanism comes off. The reason this is important is because when we're opening various things, you see this guy? How do we get under there to clean it really effectively? And even if you're using one Ugh. of these, maybe you have one when of these. When was the last time you even tried to clean it? <laughs> and you'll, you know, I used to use toothpicks. I used to use like all these like really little like little uh, little wipes and stuff. And you try to get in there to get it perfect. These are rusting all the time. So not only are they dexterity issues for a lot of people, but it's also getting rusty. And and you can't really get that mm -hmm. clean either. Now you're opening your cans and putting rust in your cans. You know when you're doing it, and that's inevitably what happens to these every sure. single time. I also so, feel like these just take. Forever. forever like you're just going around and around <laughs> and around you never know like when you're done you're just you're keep cranking yeah this one you does set it, it on top you set it on top so here's what i want to do i want to break this down for you because we noticed some of you were having some issues so i want to show if you don't set it on top properly it won't connect so you see how there's the two gadgets right here you want to put your can right in the middle so i'm going to hold the can up i go right in the middle just like that so i let it set down the button on top i press and hold and you're going to feel this attach when you feel it grab, so I'm gonna hold this down. I say, okay, it grabs, now I can let go. If you don't wait for it to grab, it'll release it again. So just wait for it to grab, and then off to the races you are, and you don't have to worry about and a thing. it automatically knows, like, the size of the yep. can? any size can. So if we're talking about our little, you know, tomato paste all the way up to these large, you know, uh, soft cans, if you are a box store shopper, this is totally fine for that. I'd say the only one you would want to avoid with your smart touch is a commercial size can because that's just going to be too big for this to power mm -hmm. through that. It's very powerful, but commercial cans are thicker. Okay. So that's something that, so, but you see, so I'm done with my sauce here. So maybe I'm opening four or five different cans for sauce. I didn't have to babysit it. I walk over to my trash can and I just do this and off it goes. I don't even have to touch it. I love that about this. And again, those no sharp edges is huge because well, you think not, about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you make one vat of chili, you have to, you probably have to get like four cans of tomatoes. Your You've paste, got kidney beans, yeah, you've got beans. your tomato paste, maybe you're adding some other vegetables or garbanzo beans, uh, vegetables. If you open, you know, cans of soup every day. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're camping, if you're traveling, if you want to make sure that you have something to open cans in an RV, if you have an emergency kit mm -hmm. or an emergency box well, for, for that. you mm -hmm. know, when the power goes out or if you have to instantly pack up and go and, and head somewhere. You know, this is always good to have handy and to know that you're getting it today at 30% off. It's such a great time to consider getting a Smart Touch because it does all the work for you. It does all the work for you. And you know, we're opening up our pet food right here. So when I talk about how I feel this is one of the most hygienic can openers out there, that's because again, I can take my cutting mechanism off. When I'm done opening up pet food, do you really want to go and open up your black eyed peas with the same cutting mechanism <laughs> that you couldn't quite get clean? <laughs> Not really. So the fact that I can do this, I could say, okay, my pet food is open. I get rid of my lid, which has no sharp edges. I turn it to the off position. I clean my mechanism, whether it be in the dishwasher or what have you, I can get all in there and get it clean, bring it back. And now I'm ready to go again with a clean, mm -hmm. hygienic can opener. And you that never touch the food. Never touch the food. So I love that, uh, for, especially for those of you that worry, am I getting, they, they say you can get metal shards in your food just from well, yeah. opening these these cans right because we did it with this so when we open with this this is what happens and I've you know I've pushed it back in, in and a lot of times but not only is it extremely smart and listen in life you've only had to cut yourself once to know exactly what I'm talking about and I've done it before and then when it gets inside of there the lid is in your food 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I can't stress it enough that this has traveled a very long way to get to you. The last thing you want is for this metal and this top to be hitting your food and then you're trying to, yeah. It's just yeah. the whole idea of it, the whole knowing the process of what mm -hmm. happens. And then again, making sure that everything is clean. And the fact that this is a foreign one just makes it great for the parties, for traveling. If you need to depressurize yeah. your jars, if you don't really have the ability to, to turn jars, this will also depressurize your oh, jars fantastic. for you. So it'll just pop it up. So great for so, like canning total exactly so if you want to okay. just you just can't really you don't have that strength mm -hmm. anymore to pop it this will help you out with that it's a really great idea if you know someone who struggles with opening cans and jars and bottles you want to make sure you're making their lives easier in every way uh, and just to hey save you a lot of time and trouble in the kitchen it's a great solution today it's 30 percent off black red light teal mm -hmm. and 